been about two months since Vivint Arena started requiring people to be vaccinated or test negative for COVID to attend events. Fox 13's April Baker joins us now live in April. Some say they have questions based on their recent experience of having to show proof at the arena. Yeah, absolutely. Differing opinions and experiences there, Carrie. We caught up with one man, though, who went to an event at the venue less than a week ago. He says it took staff only seconds to check his proof of vaccination. And while he got inside fast, he questions just how thorough the process is. I literally walked in like that and they said, thank you. And it was no slower than that. Adam Heindorf walks us through what Vivint Arena staff did when he showed proof he was vaccinated in the form of a QR code on his phone. He was there to watch the Utah Jazz play. They just literally glanced at it to see. I could have had anything on my phone that looked like it. Not all event goers had the same experience as Heindorf, though. Roger told me through social media that he didn't notice anything unusual. He said he just showed a picture of his card and was let in. We think you guys over here proof of vaccination. We reached out to Vivint Arena and shared Heindorf's experience where staff only glanced at his proof of vaccination. A spokesman tells Fox 13 News that they recognize proof of vaccination is not being cross-checked with each personal ID at the venue. They also issued us a statement that reads in part, we continue to remind guests of the protocols in advance, place staff outside of the arena for this specific duty and reinforce the importance of holding events in a safe environment. Regardless of how strict each individual checker is, um, I think it's important for entities who make that decision because it sends a message that vaccination is important. Important, but Salt Lake County Health Department spokesman Nicholas Rupp tells us there's still risk of transmission in all vaccinated groups. It's a negotiated risk, like many things we do in life. You choose to attend an event because it's important enough to you to do so. Rep continues to urge people who are not vaccinated to reconsider and to avoid crowded indoor spaces when possible since COVID transmission rates continue to be high. Carrie.